I'm uh, very fortunate that, that I came to London Business School and that was because I very definitely wanted to make a career change. Uh, up to that point, I had studied some law and London Business School gave me some credentials to go and do something completely different. I got hired really in the consumer products area. I really wanted to go and run my own show. And my first impressions of Allergan was this is a really interesting company. At that time, Botox was virtually undiscovered. The sales were about $80 million in 1997. In 2014, they were $2.2 billion. The, the bid from uh, Valiant, which occurred on April the 22nd, 2014, this came as a complete surprise. In the United States, it's absolutely legal to acquire up to 5% of a company without notifying the market or notifying the board of directors. The first thing I knew that things were amiss was when we got a phone call from the Wall Street Journal about 60 minutes before Bill Ackman went on CNBC asking us for our comment on the bid. And we went, the what bid? But we really couldn't believe that they would actually attack uh, Allergan. The last time I ever spoke to Bill Ackman, he said, well, this will be a sorry way to end your long career. I'm afraid I just hung up and started laughing. I would say the first two or three days uh, my head was spinning. We hired a crisis PR firm. I made really two key decisions to pass the day-to-day -day operations of the company, Allergan, to Douglas Ingram, the president, and I would really spend all of my time on the Raiders. Secondly, of course, was agreeing with the board how we were going to work together, which ended up being really a bonding effect. In terms of immediate actions, we had a so-called poison pill. All it does is it just pushes out the date for a shareholder meeting. The benefit of it is it stops a raider from accumulating more than 10% of the shares without the approval of the company's boards. It gives a pause for a company's board to step back and say, OK, what is our strategy? It's using time to regroup and think, and how do we create the best answer for stockholders? One of the painful decisions we had to take was a reduction in research and development investment. And people really uh, bought into this. They knew some people would be made redundant, but they understood there was a much bigger purpose to potentially uh, secure our independence. I was being referred to by the New York Times as the brave heart of Allergan. The pressure was enormous, uh, beyond just the quantity of board meetings. Really, Saturdays was the only day that the counter media, Ackman and the press, weren't attacking me. Under all this pressure, we kept on moving up our forecast for the year's sales to the tune of uh, almost $400 million of growth. Ackman started accumulating shares when the company was worth $37 billion. The day we announced the deal with activists, the value of the company was $66 billion. The reason we did the deal was because we felt this was a good outcome for all stakeholders. In the final instance, activists paid $219 a share. The highest formal offer we ever received from Valiant was $180 a share. And so if you do 300 million shares out, you can see there's roughly $13 billion of incremental value that we created. And of course, one of the sweeter parts, but activists decided to change their name to Allergan. Being very close to Los Angeles, people have even suggested there should be a movie about this afterwards. I'm voting for Colin Firth to play me. Um, I have nothing but the highest praise of all of the Allergan team. When I speak to people today, I always get the sense that Allergan was a really pivotal uh, place in their careers, the camaraderie and the value of what they learned.